The Daleks are back because Daleks always come back. That's what Daleks do and they are loved. I love them. I think there's a whole new generation that loves them and an old generation that always loved them and um, you'd be mad to sit here and say they're gone forever. At the end of season one, we always knew they'd come back. If, if the Daleks weren't in Doctor Who, it is like fish without chips or Cagney without Lacey. It's just wrong. The Daleks have to come back, no matter how utterly they're defeated, no matter how much they're totally destroyed. You can wipe out their planets, wipe out their ships, they have to come back. I will not die. I cannot die. I really think they're an essential part of Doctor Who. I think to a lot of people it is Doctor Who and the Daleks. The first time that Rose saw a Dalek, it's the first time that Rose saw the Doctor really weak. Seeing them going down corridors, seeing them wandering around Torchwood, you know, a, a place which has been looking for alien intelligences and suddenly they've got the Daleks in the middle of it. And then icing on the cake, they're fighting the Cybermen. I don't think they really tended to do that in the classic series, kind of put monsters together, which seems like quite an obvious thing to do now, I think. It's one of those things that I think people who, who watch the show casually in years gone by imagine has happened before. They imagine that the Daleks and Cybermen must have fought each other. They never have. It's a, it's a real Doctor Who first. Identify yourself! We are the Cybermen. You will be deleted. Bit of a nightmare for the Doctor, of course, you know. The two greatest enemies, he's got to defeat them both. You just think, we're bringing back the Cybermen, we've got the Daleks. I think that's exactly what an eight-year-old would do in their heads. You know, in playgrounds across the, the country, since 1966, pretty much, people have said, who's best Daleks and Cybermen? And now, finally, we get to find out.